Hi guys, this is Shauna Noel for Illustrate Faith and I am back for day one part two of the Yes and Amen devotional kit. I love showing these process videos and I think they're great for people just to kind of get an idea on how we're using the kits. Also get some great tips about Bible journaling. I sped up this initial process in my Bible journaling because I repeated some of the same steps from part one of this series. So if you want to see a little bit more in detail about this part of the second step stamping and then coloring it in, go ahead and go back and watch day one video of this recording. And then you can get some tips, but it's my favorite way to use these fun little stamps. And here is that little cute sheep all colored in and stamped. Um, and that is just a fun thing to add to the bottom of your page. I don't think each entry has to be like world changing and totally different than the other. This entry is very similar to what I did in my devotional kit and I love that they coordinate. So here I'm going to go ahead and highlight the text I'm working through. Again, I use Faber Castell markers. They don't bleed and I love their color selection. I buy mine at my local art supply store. They're kind of hard to find online um, when you are looking for specific colors. So that's, I love just to go in and find them. And then you can see the colors in person, which is even better. I'm using a journaling card here and I've decided to cut it down so that it's more in line with the size of the margins. And um, for this journaling card, I've simply used the stamps and again that second stamp stamp second step stamping um, that I've shown you in the previous videos. So if you haven't seen those, go ahead and go back to the unboxing where I show some tips and then day one, part one. And I'm just cutting this down so it's, it's better in the margin. I love to use journaling cards as just a little tip in or a little place for hidden journaling. I do a lot of personal reflection in my Bible and although I welcome anyone to open all these little flaps and stuff, I know that not all of you would like that. So I love to show how to use journaling cards or other ideas for hidden journaling. My favorite way to attach these is just with some washi tape, but I'm going to go ahead and place it here and then kind of play with the rest of the page before I attach it. So I've torn off the little sentiments on the washi tape, which I am in love with. I want to like make 1 million more rolls of this tape, but with different sentiments, but I don't think that would go over so well, but it's so much fun. I'm just kind of like addicted to it. And so I've torn off the go out with great joy here or go out with joy and again I love that all these little sentiments will kind of th thread together through your devotional series so even on my planner I have torn off the yes and amen and put that at the top of the week to kind of keep my mind on what I'm learning in this devotional and what God is prompting on my heart through this and so anytime you can have to have those visual reminders throughout any part of your day I think it's just a great thing so I'm gonna go ahead and take some additional washi tape and make a little washi tape hinge here is how I like to refer to it now when you're doing washi tape tip-ins or anything like that you can do it anywhere on the page you can do it on the edge you can do it in the gutter of the page or the spine, whatever you would like. Um, just depends on how you want the page to flip. You can do it at the top of the card and so that it flips up. But I, today I'm going to use the edge of the page as my little hinge and just slap that on the back here. And that way when I lift the card up, I have a little space underneath to do some journaling. But I have this cute yes and amen at the top, which is so much fun. And again, anything I can do to pull together my entries from each devotional kit, I love doing that. So I'm using my Illustrated Faith journaling pen here, and I'm just going to do some personal reflection on what God's kind of teaching me through this process. Um, first, I'm going to add a little element to the front of the card. I love the little sentiments that are in the cut apart. So if you haven't cut apart your stamp backer yet, go ahead and do so because they're great for just pulling things out when you just need a little something extra. And I love these. They're so cute and they match the washi tape really well. And the sentiments go along with what Janelle is teaching us in this devotional. So it makes it really easy to correspond your supplies with what you're learning and what you're doing in the Word. I just use some adhesive to stick that on the back there and then I'm going to outline it just to give it that extra little detail, help it pop off the page and make it look like it wasn't just slapped on there. It's kind of part of the design here and um, I outline it and give it a little artistic mark and then I'm going to go ahead and use my 
Illustrate Faith Date Stamp because I love to add the date to all my entries. Uh, I just think it's important to document what God's doing and when. And so this is great because you're going to be coming back to these same pages over and over again. Unlike a, maybe a regular journal where you turn the page and not come back, I will journal on one or two pages several times. So to have those entries dated is really important to me. That date stamp also has sentiments on it that go really well with these devotional kits, like the one I just used said amen and then the date. So of course the yes and amen is perfect. And then here I'm just going to journal what God is laying on my heart. So for me, it is a big yes and amen to continue to go out in great joy and share what he's doing in my life and in our community and um, throughout that, just sing his praises. Like that's what's so important to me is yes, Bible journaling is great and yes, it's wonderful, but this is for him, this is because of him and this is for him. And that's um, what's ultimately the focus for me and that I need to remain focused on that and not get caught up in you know, likes or um, shares or, you know, what the community thinks of it. Because really, honestly, as long as we're remaining focused on him, that's what the ultimate goal is. And so just a daily reminder of that is always healthy, I think. I'm going to then use these stamps again to take out some of those little typed sentiments are just so fun and versatile and great to use throughout your journaling. I love to make little additional sentiments or reminders at the top margin of my Bible, and so that's just what I'm doing here. I One of my favorite colors to use is black, and that's why we've made sure to give you guys lots of black ink to use throughout your stamping needs. Uh, but you can use any color here. It's just I like to use black as a simple little added touch, and then I like to stamp it again to kind of have that worn look as well. I hope you guys are really enjoying this devotional. I know it's something that as I kind of jump into and look over and think about how I'm going to work through this, I just enjoy it more and more. And so I can't wait to see what you guys do with it and how you grow through it, how you use these cute little stamps and what your lessons you're taking away. I just look forward and encourage you to, if you feel comfortable, share those things, even if you comment on the video or on our Facebook page about how you're using these kits. We love seeing those and I love seeing all your different ideas and we have this general idea of how God is using these kits and the theme and the colors and stuff, but then to see in actuality how these kits are affecting your lives and walk is just such a blessing and it's so much fun to see because God is always surprising us, right? And so he's using them in different ways than we could ever imagine and that is just wonderful to watch that journey. Here's a little close-up of the journaling and coloring. I kind of tied in some of the colors, my little flip journaling card here. And I really encourage you guys again that this doesn't have to take a long time. So I fast forwarded the first little bit of this video when I was stamping, but overall in reality this took me 10 minutes. And so again, when we try to tell ourselves we don't have time to set that time aside for him it's just it's not true we do we have all the time we need to be with him so enjoy the journey and thank you for joining me